Welcome back to Dark Dimensions Wax Beauty. Hey, Sebastian. After Lucy won the beauty pageant, I worried things had gone too far. My sister annoyed me. And I wanted to teach her a lesson, but I never wanted to harm her. Awkward pause between your sentences. And that journalist, Sybil, she appeared at the right time. Just wanted to support me. I fell for her, but then I realized that she was completely insane. She was obsessed with me. You can call me crazy, but I think she put a love spell on me. You're That's crazy. why I went to the medium. I needed to remove it somehow. Check the medium's house. There was something strange that happened there the last time I went, but I can't remember. Okay, so that's going to be our next uh, major plot of the story. Figuring out what happened in the medium's house. And now I have a baseball bat. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna need a, a, a trophy there. This needs to be sliced off as soon as we can find any slicers. And the interview with her is at 102.9! 102.9, home of the creepiest interviews ever! Okay, turn here. That gives me a latch. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for at this point. Wait, is this a latch? Latch opens up the closet. No? The baseball bat? Why am I looking at the closet door? Do I have a, a handle? And this is a hidden object scene. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. I was looking for hidden objects. Hell! What? Why are we writing hell on the... Oh, hello! Hello! Ho oh, ho! Okay, we're writing hello. We just put the L. I, we put the O on a different level because we're creepy. That makes for a nice drink. I need some hair. There we go. And hopefully that'll be our last in objects challenge for a brief while. Hint, anything else I missed here? Well, I know that I want two ink pots to go there, but I don't I don't see a, a second ink pot, so perhaps I missed it. Latch, yes, window latch! It's all making sense. It's all making sense. Not really. I mean, why, 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 why are you using ink pots to hide a paper knife? That doesn't make much sense. But knife cuts through wax, and that gives me a picture of Sebastian. Is there something I needed to cut? I needed to cut here. Get the number four. Wait. Hidden objects challenge number two? Hidden objects challenge number two. Let me just scoot ahead here. Nothing there. Oh, there it is. Windmill. Birthday cake is delicious as usual. That gives me a cup. <sighs> the 
this gives me a puzzle. What you want to do is get all the numbers in order from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The way to solve it is to go down, left, up, right, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, left, up. Yeah, good luck solving that puzzle on your own. It's a picture of Lucy! Yay! Lucy and Sebastian! That gives me a second one of those balls. What is this? Everyone's focused on my sister Lucy, and she's obsessed with herself. Meh! Meh! She's just so self-centered and boring. So that's why I... So he went to the he went to Madame Nadine, the, the medium, and the medium as payment wanted him to convince Lucy to turn herself into a wax figurine. Most mysterious. So this is Chinese checkers. Basically it's a puzzle where you want to jump over pieces. way to win, apparently, is to only have four left over once you do all of the jumping. Now, in fact, there is a way to solve this challenge with only one piece left over, with that piece being in the center. Oh, I won! Okay, that's good. And I want to use the baseball bat here several times to get clock hands. I also want to steal things from this scene. Anything else I need to steal? I'm done. Looks like I'm done with this area. Looks like I'm done with this area. I'm not 100% sure where I have to go now. Ah! Okay, so the guide is saying I have to go all the way back here for a hidden object screen, and that does not seem very intuitive, that I have to go back five screens, you know? To an area from the first five minutes of the game, ten minutes of the game. This gives me that. Where were those clock hands I just picked up? Here? Here they are. Okay. Put the key, then put the clock arrows in place. And we wanted to meet, uh, he was going to meet with her. Did I even find this important clue? He's going to meet with her at 1040. And so now we can go all our way. This, this is officially the start of chapter number four, Fortune Teller and the Wax Museum. So obviously we're gonna start with the Fortune Teller and then graduate on to the Wax Museum. So do we have anything to open this? No, no we do not. This is a giant robot. It is, in fact, a giant robot. You know how this is? I bet I can use it for fuel. I think the game is lying there. It, it means I need the cork, and I am not actually going to use that for any type of fuel. Okay, so cork goes over there. Um, fuel goes over here. And is that enough to power that? That is not enough to power this person. We also need a battery. Oh dear. Uh, what am I missing? I switched to gas? There we go. So 
I think the whole point of that challenge was just to show off how fantastic the animators are. This is a puzzle. What you want to do is move the pieces. You want to move them around. You want to move the rings around in order to have them overlap. So it's not like 100% obvious what you have to do, but here's your solution. What you want to do is get the... you want to get the, the circle on top, so that's... That's what I'm trying to do here. It's not... not the easiest. So once you get the circle on top, moving all of the other pieces into place is just a breeze. There you go! So yeah, just, just do that. Now for the fortune teller's house. Oh, hey Sebastian! Ready to do more awkward pausing yes, in between sentences? Yes, I remember now. I came here to have the final steps performed, then getting rid of the love spell. But Madame Nadine was acting strangely. She insisted that I should convince Lucy to post the wax collection. She said Lucy was almost perfect. I'd already heard this line from the wax master and I didn't like it. Then, later that day, Lucy asked me to go to the wax museum with her. I remembered the medium's words. And I knew something was wrong. I told Lucy not to go. She wouldn't listen. She went anyway. And when I went to find her, after that, I don't remember anything. You need to go to the wax museum. Something must have happened to Lucy there in that evil place. I love the dubbing in this game. It is just my favorite. I, I, I love it way more than I should. Okay, so... Um, hidden object challenge. That's all we're going to do this time around. We're not actually going to explore quite yet. We're just, we're just um, finding hidden objects. So I need to find a can opener or something. Something there. Can opener over here. The final thing I need is the mask, which... Uh, uh, here. Red, red dot. We've got red tiles. I don't know what the red tiles are for, I just know we're going to use them. That gives me some repellent, which I'm going to use over here on the spider. Take that, spider! Ha -ha. 11.30 Thursday. I thought the clock was at 10.40. I just solved a puzzle like that. Anyway, we get Shiva's drum. Or Shiva, Shiva's drum. Okay. Drum goes there. Fire goes there, giving us a picture of a dancing skeleton and another button. Almost finished with the button. I, um... There we go, that's where the skeleton is for. So we want the, the dancing skeleton picture to line up perfectly. Like that, and then what it? Whoa! That looks good. Hand like that. Other hand like that. Leg like that. And leg like that. Whoa! Where's where's the mistake here? Uh, 
That looks good. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really... I don't understand where the mistake... Wait. There's a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Something very disturbing happened yesterday. Something very sinister. There's some sort of block around this person. Where's that planet switch? Yay, that gives me a card and a hidden objects challenge. I must say, I'm not a huge fan of this particular area of the game. That, that skeleton puzzle is just kind of meh. Uh, yep. Thing, which I missed is there. Cards are over here. Notice the rules. Very complicated rules. So nothing too complicated here in the first part. Just click on cards until you find the right ones. And your goal is to find a card that matches this 10. So it's going to be 10 with a 10 in the right-hand corners. There we go. So now this is whatever that is with spades in the other corners. There we go. And now this is a queen. So the bottom side needs to be a queen of hearts. Um not sure why that wasn't a match. Now we need to find a thing that matches this 10. Now we need to find a thing which matches that jack. Now we need to find a thing which matches that queen. It gets progressively easier as, as the puzzle goes on. Oh, and the matching card apparently is this one. That gives me an old life symbol. Whatever on earth that may be. And I was missing something here. Lockpick. Oh dear. Um, not sure if you people saw that. Uh, basically my computer told me, whoa, 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 you just glitched out your game by having too many items in the inventory at once. Let me clear some inventory space. Let me clear some inventory space. That was weird. That, that, I, I swear that did not happen when I played played the game by myself to prepare for this video walkthrough. So where was I? I I had just I had too much items, too many items in my inventory space. And I I was supposed to get the lock. Huh! I give me a second, maybe I need to close the game and um reload it. Alright everyone, I uninstalled the game and then reinstalled it. That is the recommended solution to this problem. So let's see if that works. Let me see, I can't pick up the handsaw. I don't have it in my inventory. Hints? No? What about here? Maybe it took me back a step. No? Because I need the hacksaw to hack into this, the, the door, I, I cut down the door and then I use it to get inside the wax factory. But apparently my game has completely glitched out and I'm unable to finish the game, which is really a bummer because I'm, you know, like, I'm close to the end of the game, but the game glitched out. So here's the next best thing. I will show you the ending to the game here on my save file that's actually completed the game.
So what happens is you go into the wax factory, um, you uh, go to this room and perform some sort of crazy ancient spell which undoes the wax curse. Those are all the evil wax statues being destroyed. And I think this is supposed to be all the wax melting. And apparently the wax is exploding, crashing the island to the ground. Uh, yeah. That's, that's a very destructive ending to the game. And that is it. That is the end of Dark Dimensions Wax Beauty. Uh, let me just play the ending credits here. I'm really sorry that the game glitched out and I wasn't able to show you the final chapter where we actually go into the wax factory and, you know, we, 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 we have a couple more scenes with the wax lady. We actually finish the storyline. Um, it turns out that there was a tragic accident with her daughter. She spilled hot wax on her daughter's face, which burned off half of her daughter's face and made her daughter ugly. And so that's why her daughter was obsessed with looking beautiful, and that's what caused the wax woman to develop the obsession with preserving people and making them look fancy. Because she, she had guilt over, uh, you know, uglifying her daughter. And that is it! So, thank you very much for watching my video walkthrough for Dark Dimensions Wax Beauty. I'm sorry the game glitched out and we weren't able to see the final 30 to 40 minutes of the game. Sorry. Bye everybody, thank you for watching. What a bummer note to end my video walkthrough on.